Okay, if you choose to replicate any glitch in the video, just know Bethesda has warned us multiple times over the last few years that if you choose to replicate any glitches you see on YouTube or wherever it is, or even if you discover something exploitive, if you use it to your advantage, this is against the term and conditions, just know that you've been warned. Hey, what is up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a great way to get raw rubber as well as molded plastic. Additionally, you'll be able to receive steel, wood, and cloth. I know that the cloth and steel and all that and the wood is not a huge, huge deal. I mainly use this glitch to acquire a lot of raw rubber and molded plastic, which is what I've done, and I'll show you how much I have received. I received 300 raw rubber and 300 molded plastic. The reason why it's 300 because you'll be able to receive one of each every time you do this glitch, which that means you'll get one molded plastic and one raw rubber as well as the additional materials that I've mentioned before. A majority of you may be familiar with the duplication camp object glitch. If so, if you do this with the pool table, you'll be able to get five material. Now, if you did not know, if you do this within your shelters, it's 10 times easier to duplicate your camp object objects than it is to go outside of your camp. Most of you already know this, that it's definitely hard to duplicate your camp objects outside, but this is why I definitely recommend doing this inside, and obviously you're trying to get those materials. So what I did was I duplicated these objects over and over and over again till I was satisfied. For video purposes, I only duplicated 30, so this way you guys know that it definitely does work. There was another method I was assuming that helps with it, which is you just store it, then you back out, and then you spam store directly right afterwards, but uh, I guess it's not necessary. I thought it helped, but apparently not. I'm going to show you that these are legitimate. They're not visuals. You can place them down and whatnot. Uh, I know there's some people that have been having issues with this glitch outside of the camp. If so, do it inside. You can do it instantly. It's easy to do, and there's not a lot of lag necessary for it. You scrap these materials, as you guys see, I'm receiving them. You do not need to place them down and scrap them this way. You can actually just go to your stored section and then go all the way down or find whatever object it is and then just scrap it from there. When you do scrap these, just know if you have Fallout first, this will be going directly towards your scrap box, not your stash box. But on the other hand, if you're not a Fallout First member, then this is going directly to your stash box. So then you can retrieve those items out of your stash box or scrap box, and then you're good to go. This is it for me. Hopefully you guys are keeping your stocks up, keeping it up with the GameStop and whatnot. I'm going to head on out. Thank you guys. Take care.